Hello, I'm Zan Perrion, and um, I have a story to tell. I have a very large story to tell, and it's right here. It is uh, pages and pages and pages and pages and pages and pages and pages of a book I've been writing for the last 10 years. I was thinking about it yesterday, and uh, almost to the month, 10 years ago, that I started this book. The reason that it uh, took me so long to write this book is that uh, well, it's a book of ideas. A book of ideas is not easy. It's not really a story. It's not really philosophy. It's not really it's not self-help at all. Well, let me tell you about the, the way the book is structured, which was the hard part. It's, it's multi-layered. It's kind of like the, the movie Inception, where there's different layers. Um, so there's three, there's, I think there's three main layers in this book. It starts out, first of all, it's called The Alabaster Girl. In case I didn't say it, it's called The Alabaster Girl. And, and the reason why it's called The Alabaster Girl becomes apparent in the book. Um, the, the flow of the book is this. It begins with a man and a woman on a train. And I don't describe them at all. A man and woman sitting on a train, they're sitting across from each other. And she's there to interview them because he wrote a book called The Alabaster Girl. This is the layered conception part, the meta part. He wrote a book called The Alabaster Girl. Uh, that is his, his, his um, memories and impressions and lifelong um, half-remembered dreams of the women he's had in his life. And he spent his life in the company and the arms of women. And he wrote about, wrote about his memories and his experiences and his, his poetic longing, I guess you could say, of the wind. So this man on the train uh, wrote this book called The Alabaster Girl, which is his memoir, I guess you could say. And she's there to interview him about the book that he wrote. So, um, so that's it's two layers. So, so basically what happens is, he's on the train with her. She says, I want, I'm here to interview. And he says, Give me, I'm, I'm here to get interviewed. I've been interviewed before, it's kind of the tone of it. Ask me your questions, I'll answer. And she said, I want to know who the real guy is. I want to know what really goes on in your mind. A man who is used to the company of women, a man uh, who has spent his life as a student of women. And, and, I want, and, and what she's saying is, I want to know who's the real guy. How does he think? And, and why, do men, or why do women respond to him? in ways that they never respond to. So he's sitting on the train and he looks at her and he realizes he's, he's a captive audience for a moment of time on this train. And he says, okay, I'm gonna tell you everything. Things I've never told anyone before. So the book opens up, she's interviewing him on the train. And then he says, I'm gonna tell you everything. And it opens up into a discourse, which is basically everything he knows, his brain dump about um, what he knows about women and men and relationship and, and the whole thing. So the whole book is this um, expose of the way, of, 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 of the mind of a man who has women in his life and why he does. And so first layer is the interview on the train. Second layer is his discourse to women in general. I'm going to explain everything to you to women and then interspersed between all those that, that discourse is excerpts from the book that he wrote The Alabaster Girl. So I got three different voices in there, the interview on the train, the, uh, the, the monologue I guess you could say, or the discourse which is opened up as, as a conversation to all women. And then uh, pieces of the book that he wrote, The Alabaster Girl, which is his memories and impressions and yeah, so that's what it's about. You know, and it's not really. Uh, is it? Is it? Is it a novel? I, I guess you could say it is, but it's a novel without characters. It's a novel without plot. Um, would I characterize it as novel? It's hard to characterize it as anything. It's not nonfiction. It's not nonfiction. It's, it's, uh, I don't know what it is. I've been asked why I didn't finish this book, say, five years ago. I've, I've been writing it for many years, and I thought about that because 
if I were to put a book out five years ago, it would have been a, it would have been an interesting book, and it would have made me look good. It made me, it would be, it would be a cool book. Um, and I first started it as writing uh, a book to men, like a, a book basically to myself when I was young. And that's how I started. But I, I couldn't, I couldn't. I couldn't resolve that. I couldn't figure out how to do that in a clean way. And the only way that I could really, really write this book was to write it to women. I'm actually, it's a book about women written to women. Uh, it sounds very presumptuous. <laughs> a man talking about women, you know, describing women to women, but it's exactly what it is. And um, if I were to wrote, if I were to have published this book for completed this book five years ago or six years ago or something like that, four years ago. It, it would have been a good book, a, a clean book, and people would receive it, I think, but it wouldn't have been, it would not have been an honest book. It would not have been real authentic, because I want, I want to have the whole complete story, the whole picture, all the good and all the bad. And and so now I like it. Like five years ago, I'm looking at it thinking, well, it's it's not clean. It's not. It's not. It doesn't have the whole spectrum of, of the good, the bad, the the doubts, the fears, the beauty of it. And uh, it took me a long time to, to put that in there, and I think I've captured that. So I hope you like it. It is. It feels like it's. Uh, I want to get this out of my system. It's my life work. I think I've been agonizing over this this manuscript for years, and um, it's time to give it to the world. And and you know, I had this thought. If nobody understands it, or nobody likes it, or nobody thinks it's so interesting, as long as I think I wrote something as authentic as I possibly can, and put my and and and, and I like it. by that I mean it's it's expressing a, a truth about me, then um, then I'm happy. I'm happy. So I hope you like it. Thank <laughs> you.